Have you heard the latest about King Charles' health? The regal rhythms of Buckingham Palace are a tad samba today, as the venerable halls echo with news not of pomp, but of pause. His Majesty, King Charles, the sovereign who reigns with both duty and dedication, faces a health hurdle most harrowing. A diagnosis of cancer has indeed emerged from what was initially a benign prostate enlargement. The King's calendar of ceremonious engagements is now taking a brief respite as he embraces a regimen of treatment with a spirit as indomitable as the crown itself. Yet, amidst the trials of treatment at a London hospital, the King's resolve remains as steadfast as the Tower of London. He's not one to let the scepter slip, his royal responsibilities, including tete-a-tetes with the Prime Minister and the pivotal perusal of red boxes, shall continue unabated. Indeed, the king's calendar is taking a brief respite, but his royal responsibilities shall continue unabated. So, how is the royal family coping with this news? In the face of adversity, the royal family's unity and strength shine brighter than ever. The Duke of Sussex, though nestled in the sunny climes of California, is no stranger to the call of duty and kinship. Preparations are underway for him to traverse continents and join his family back in the United Kingdom. A testament to the powerful bonds of blood and duty, his journey underscores the solidarity that binds this regal tapestry together. Meanwhile, the Queen, an emblem of compassion and grace, continues to fulfill her royal engagements. Unfazed by the trials that the family faces, she stands as the beacon of duty and dedication, her presence in the public sphere a comforting reassurance to the nation. Her stoic resolve serves as a reminder of the unwavering spirit that the monarchy embodies, a spirit that refuses to buckle under pressure. As King Charles embarks on his journey towards recovery, the royal family rallies around him, their unity echoing through the grand halls of Buckingham Palace. Each member, in their own unique way, contributes to the collective strength that the family exudes, a strength that is as resolute as the Tower of London itself. Through this narrative of resilience and resolve, the royal family paints a picture of unity in the face of adversity, a picture as stately as the palace gardens themselves. Despite the miles and the duties, the royal family stands united, a testament to their bonds of blood and duty. And what about the nation, how are they responding to the king's health situation? In the wake of the king's diagnosis, a wave of support has swept across the United Kingdom, a testament to the enduring affection for the monarchy. The news has reached every corner of the nation, echoing through the valleys of Wales, reverberating off the highlands of Scotland, and resonating within the hearts of Northern Ireland's populace. This is not just a story of a king and his health, it is a narrative that binds us all, transcending borders and differences. It is a shared tale of resilience and resolve, a testament to the indomitable spirit that defines the United Kingdom. It is a story that highlights the collective empathy of a nation, a country united in its well wishes for its sovereign. From the farmer in Cornwall to the shopkeeper in Edinburgh, from the teacher in Belfast to the miner in Swansea, people from all walks of life have paused, their daily routines momentarily suspended, replaced by a shared concern for their king. Expressions of support have poured in, a chorus of well wishes echoing throughout the nation, each sentiment as heartfelt as the last. And as we stand together, our hearts united in hope and solidarity, we find strength in our collective spirit. We are reminded once again of the ties that bind us, the shared narrative that makes us one. From Wales' heartfelt Gwell had Buan to Scotland's prayers and Northern Ireland's hopes, the King's health saga has united the nation in a chorus of well wishes. As we stand together, what's next for our King Charles? As we look ahead, we see not just a monarch, but a man of indomitable spirit, tackling a personal hurdle with the same tenacity and dedication he has always shown in his royal duties. His Majesty's journey, as harrowing as it may be, is a testament to his strength, his courage, and his unwavering resolve. His road to recovery may be steep, but it's a path he treads with the fortitude of a king and the heart of a lion. And as he does, he carries with him the hopes and prayers of a nation, the support of his family, and the strength of his own indomitable spirit. His eyes, as ever, are firmly set on the horizon, a horizon of recovery, of return to duty, of resumption of the regal rhythms that define his reign. With the wisdom of Windsor and the courage of a king, his majesty navigates this challenge, 
his eyes firmly set on the horizon of recovery and return to regal duties. Stay tuned for the next Majesty Moments video, Queen Camilla, the secret force silently shaping the throne. Did you know that channel members can get an exclusive video every week? That's on top of custom emojis, loyalty badges, and an extra quiz question every day. Sign up link is in this video's description.